Let's talk about the new Wallhack SkyPad SP004. I'm sure it's just the SP4, but uh, basically this is the fourth iteration of the SkyPad. Prior, we had the SkyPad 3.0, and that one was really good, super durable, all types of thing. The SP004 has a lot of really good quality of life improvements. It's a little bit taller. It's a little bit less wide as well, but it's still huge. The biggest improvement in my opinion is gonna have to do with the base so you have a huge base on the back where compared to the previous sky pad they had four rubberized pads which didn't really mean that it wasn't that stable but if you did press in on the pad it had the potential to kind of dip on you a little bit but the, honestly i never even experienced that so they could have left it the same i wouldn't have minded but this just provides even more grip to your desktop so it's definitely not gonna slide on your desk. As far as the performance of the new glass pad, quite honestly, it's a little bit more controlled than the SkyPad 3.0, a lot more controlled than something like the Razer Atlas. Previously, I did really like the Razer Atlas and I think maybe I was just playing a little bit faster or I was playing less competitively back when I reviewed that pad a while ago because I did use that one for a pretty long time before I decided to do my review. This one I use a little bit longer than I had access to that Razer Atlas for just to really collect my thoughts and see how I felt about this pad. And it's definitely slower than the Atlas, slower than the uh, SkyPad 3.0 by a little bit, but just cause it's a bit slower doesn't make it significantly more control. Like using a cloth pad is still gonna provide you with a ton more control than really any glass pad. Now this one is less noisy than the SkyPad 3.0 and that's the first thing that I enjoyed about the SP004. I'm not really reaching for glass pads these days and this one is good. If I was to reach for one, this has replaced my favorite glass pad being the Razer Atlas. Even though the Atlas is a little bit smoother than this one, this pad is a bit quieter. So I do kind of prefer that. Slightly more controlled than the Atlas again as well but still not as controlled as a cloth pad. Either way, super durable, nice quality of life changes. Definitely do recommend using an arm sleeve, um, but I actually don't find that my arm ends up getting stuck on the pad at all while I use it. Um, it's more so like my palm gets a little sweaty on the pad and my palm sticks a bit, but that happens on every glass pad. The arm sleeve didn't really do much for me, but if it had like a thumb cutout, that would make a bigger difference. So here is the black arm sleeve and I am not seeing a thumb cut out at all. So, um, I mean, I guess you could just cut your own thumb hole. That would make, I think a bigger difference. And uh, that would pretty much solve the issue of having your sweaty palm on your mouse pad. But otherwise, I think it's a pretty good pad. If you're looking for something a little different and you never tried a glass pad before, I will say that this one is the best one to get. You just gotta expect this thing to be fast and obviously it's gonna be louder than your standard cloth pad. But otherwise, I think that this one is a solid one to try.